Welcome everyone. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of problem solving and programming. Now you might be wondering, why is problem solving a crucial skill in this field? Well let me tell you it's the backbone of every piece of software, every application and essentially every digital experience you've ever had. Programmers are like detectives, sifting through lines of code, hunting for clues, and piecing together solutions to complex puzzles. They use problem-solving techniques to not only fix bugs but also to create innovative features and functionality. It's a process of constant learning, adapting, and improving. This art of problem-solving is not just about knowing how to code. It's about understanding a problem, breaking it down into manageable parts, choosing the right tools, testing solutions, and iterating until the problem is solved. So, buckle up as we explore the art of problem-solving and programming. Before you start solving a problem, it's crucial to understand it thoroughly. You see, in the world of programming, a clear grasp of the problem at hand is akin to having a detailed map when you're navigating unfamiliar terrain. It's the difference between wandering aimlessly and moving with purpose. Understanding the problem helps us to avoid common pitfalls, such as overcomplication, which often leads to unnecessary complexity and potential errors. By comprehending the problem, we can discern the core issues allowing us to directly address them. This not only streamlines our approach but also results in more efficient and effective solutions. Moreover, this understanding can help us anticipate potential challenges and prepare for them in advance, saving us precious time and effort. In essence, understanding the problem before diving into the coding process is a pivotal step in crafting a resilient, efficient, and effective solution. Remember, understanding the problem is half the battle won. Once you understand the problem, the next step is to break it down into smaller, manageable parts. This process, my friends, is akin to dissecting a large, daunting beast into smaller, less intimidating creatures. Picture a thousand-piece jigsaw puzzle. Trying to solve it all at once would be overwhelming, right? However, if you break it up, focusing on one piece at a time, it becomes much more manageable. In the world of programming, this technique is known as decomposition. Decomposition allows us to simplify complex problems by breaking them down into sub-problems. Each of these sub-problems is a smaller, more manageable part of the whole, and can be solved independently. This approach not only makes the problem easier to understand, it also allows us to tackle each part one by one, making the process much less intimidating. And remember, every complex problem is just a series of smaller problems waiting to be solved. Breaking down a problem can be your secret weapon to conquering programming challenges. With the problem broken down, it's time to choose the right tools for the job. Now this isn't about picking the shiniest new programming language or the most complex framework out there. No, the true art of problem solving and programming lies in selecting the most suitable tools for the job at hand. Think of it like this, you wouldn't use a sledgehammer to crack a nut, would you? Similarly, for a simple web app, you may not need a heavyweight framework. A lightweight language like Python or JavaScript could do the trick, but for a system that requires heavy data processing, you might want to consider something more robust, like Java or C++. And remember, the best tool is often the one you are most comfortable with. Because, at the end of the day, programming is more about logic and less about the language. Choosing the right tools can make the difference between a smooth process and a frustrating experience. Once you've created a solution, it's time to test and iterate. This step is critical in the art of problem solving and programming. Think of it as the final touch, the cherry on top of your coding Sunday. The testing phase is where you get to see your solution in action. Here you'll run your code, observe the results, and assess if it does indeed solve the problem at hand. It's like a dress rehearsal before the main event. It gives you a chance to spot any glitches or issues that need fixing. But testing isn't a one-time event. It's a continuous process of trial and error, of refining and perfecting. This is where iteration comes in. If your solution isn't quite right, or if it could be better, you adjust, tweak, and improve it. You keep working on it until it's not just correct but also efficient and elegant. Testing and iterating ensures that your solution is not only correct, but also efficient. So, we've covered the journey from understanding the problem to testing your solution. Let's take a moment to reflect on the key points discussed in this video. The first step, and perhaps the most crucial one in the process, is understanding the problem. You might be tempted to dive right into coding but remember, a well-defined problem is half the solution. Take your time to comprehend the problem at hand, 
ask questions, and clarify any ambiguities. Next, we explored the importance of breaking down the problem. Large problems can seem daunting, but when we dissect them into smaller manageable parts, they become much less intimidating. This process also allows us to recognize patterns and apply solutions we've used in the past. It's like solving a jigsaw puzzle. You start with the edges, find the corners, and gradually fill in the center. Choosing the right tools is another crucial step in the journey. Just as a carpenter wouldn't use a hammer to cut a piece of wood, a programmer shouldn't use a tool that isn't suited for the task. Familiarize yourself with different programming languages, libraries, and frameworks. Each tool has its strengths and limitations, so choose wisely based on the problem you're trying to solve. Lastly, we discussed the significance of testing and iterating. Even the most experienced programmers rarely get everything right the first time. Testing allows you to identify any errors or inefficiencies in your code. And remember, it's okay to go back to the drawing board. Iterating, refining, and improving your solution is all part of the process. Remember, mastering the art of problem solving and programming is a journey. But with these steps in mind, you're well on your way. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.